Welcome everyone to another special edition of Coffee Talk Tuesday. As most of you know, I have been quite under the weather over the weekend. <clears throat> Feeling a little better today, but today I wanted to do a video for all you new vegans coming in or everyone participating in Veganuary on tips to help you be successful in creating and adopting this new lifestyle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a couple questions that I often get as a vegan and I'm gonna answer them for you. So stay tuned to some great information. Hopefully this will help you become successful in what you're trying to do. So the number one question that I normally get is what about B12? Well, fun story, B12 isn't naturally found in an animal. It's naturally found in rivers, streams, lakes. Um, soils, bodies of water, that type of thing. So back in you know ancestral era, that's where we were getting our B12. Well, now animals' feed has been supplemented with B12, thus having B12 in animal flesh when we consume them. A lot of milk alternatives, almond milk, cashew milk, soy milks, are now being fortified with B12, so we no longer have to worry about that. Do you need to take one? It's probably a good idea to. I take one sublingually each day. Uh, but also, these alternative milks offer them inside. So if you don't take a B12, you'll probably be fine, though I do recommend it. <clears throat> Second, should you take a protein powder? As a normal individual in society, I don't think it's necessary to take a protein powder. If you're active, want to build muscle and whatnot, Yes, I take a protein powder after I work out, I make a smoothie, or take one during the day. But if you're getting enough calories throughout the day, you should be hitting your protein intake that you need to be hitting throughout the day. So I don't think it's necessary to take a protein powder, though it's not a bad idea. Uh, tip number three, don't go vegan overnight. I'm a quite of an extremist, I'm a very binary person, I'm either in or I'm not. I'm one or I'm two, or is it one or zero? I'm a one or a zero, that's binary. You're also another one I like to go off of, you're either pregnant or you're not. You're never half pregnant. So, don't go vegan overnight like I did. I went, one day I was like, I'm done, I don't wanna do this anymore, going vegan. I'm still, what, almost a year in, successful. Now, some people can't do that, some people say it's easier to go vegetarian, slowly cut dairy, or cut out one type of meat, or have one vegan meal a day, a couple vegan meals a week, stuff like that. So kind of space it out over time. There's no rush. Just ease your body into it. Don't shock yourself overnight. And yeah, just don't, don't do what I did. Unless you're a very extreme person like I am, it probably won't be successful because the majority of people who do it that way do not remain vegan for very long. Number four, don't be afraid of carbs. This whole world is afraid of carbs. They're like, I'm gonna get fat from all these carbs. What do I do? Don't be afraid of them. Consume three, 400 grams of carbs a day, you're fine. The problem is we have a very low carb diet in the Western world and a very high protein diet, but we're also very sedentary over here. So what happens is the carbs that would then be stored for energy for later, which is what we should be consuming, that complex carbs, quinoas, brown rices, whole grain meals, is not in our bodies. So we're having these high protein, which is very difficult to be converted into energy, and it's just staying in our body, which is then much easier converted into a fat than a carb is. So you're not getting any energy from all this protein we're intaking. So don't be afraid of carbs, make sure you're getting carbs from the right sources, not high starchy carbs, not white potatoes, stuff like that. Take in some sweet potatoes, like I said, whole grains. Do not be afraid of complex carbs. It's not going to your hips, trust me. Last one, learn your ingredient labels. Now this is really important. Uh, it took me a long time to research this and to like understand what I'm reading in labels. Stuff like carmine, whey, cassian, things that don't seem, you know, like animal products, but they are if you don't know them. So milk is a whey, it's a cassian, but without reading, you know, contains milk at the bottom, some part are like, oh, it doesn't say dairy, it doesn't say milk, it doesn't say, you know, lactose or whatever. So make sure you're reading labels, 
do your research on, I'm sure PETA has a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of vegan YouTubers that have covered content on this, on how to read labels. Reading labels will be your friend. It will help you because if you don't read labels, you're going to be doomed. Now, always a fun fact or something I always do, when in doubt, don't eat it. So there's many times I'll go out to eat and I love the answer. I go, does it have eggs or dairy in it or any meat? I don't think so. If they don't know for sure, if they didn't read the label, I don't trust it. I don't trust anybody but myself and I just don't eat it. It's fine. I miss out. It's not a big deal. I'll just continue on with my life eating something else. So make sure to read the labels, ingredient labels, don't trust anyone, and then you'll be fine, very successful. Now, if you have any other questions or topics you want me to cover, please go ahead and leave a link in the description below. A link in the description, that doesn't make any sense. In the comment section below, go ahead and leave some questions that you have for me and I'll make sure I'll try to ask them, answer them later. Uh, I'll leave some up here. I'm gonna leave some Net Nutrition. I'm gonna leave his uh, YouTube channel here. And I'm gonna leave another one, Brian Turner. Make sure you go follow them on their YouTube journey. Subscribe to them. Ton of information on dietary needs, nutrition, uh, because they've been a wealth of knowledge for me on things that I've learned becoming a vegan, ways to make it easier. So Net just came out with a new ebook. I bought the ebook. Makes my life a ton easier with meal prepping, um, trying to get my body nutritionally sound because nutritionally, like, I'm a heaping mess. I know this. So I need to be better at it. I know what I need to do. I just need to execute it. So go ahead and check their channels out. Make sure you give a like and subscribe to mine. Share it with your friends. Anyone becoming vegan or interested in, make sure you share this video to them. Maybe it can give them some tips on how to be successful and what they're trying to do. And, you know, embrace them in the community. Give them knowledge. Don't ridicule them. And build the community together. We're not brainwashed crazy people like everyone thinks we are. Until next time, have a great day. Peace.